What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. Tim going to focus in on Jack Eichel making a really shocking decision, you know, signing with the Buffalo Sabres. I mean, I honestly thought Eichel was going to be a four-year player at BU and, you know, really continue to develop and get better every year with the Terriers and, you know, see what the finish... Ah, fuck it. We all knew this was coming. Uh, you know, obviously... You had to have your head written sound like an ostrich not to see that Eichel would be, uh, you know, in the NHL next season and, uh, you know, signing this entry-level deal with the Sabres, uh, you know, assures that he's been uh, been spotted at the Buffalo airport um, and, you know, the deal probably gets signed, you know, pretty soon and, uh, you know, I, Dave, it's Dave Quinn texted Butchergrass and said, "I'm a lot worse of a coach now," um, so that's, you know, it it really is one of those things where. You know, it's tough for BU, tough for fans of Boston, but you know you got to understand that's that's the reality situation. And uh, best of luck to uh, to Ike. Obviously, you know you, you want to see this get. You know, someone like me, it's followed him for as long as I have. Uh, see him do some good things and you know really dominate the NHL and see if he can uh, you know really turn it up and be as dominant a, a player in the NHL as everyone thinks he's going to be. Um, you know, and I think he's going to be one hell of an NHL player. We're talking number one center. Uh, for a long time, possible MVP candidate, you know, best player on Stanley Cup championship team, you know, stuff like that. So I, uh, I, I can't say enough good things about watching him play. How much of an honor it, uh, it was to watch him, you know, dominate during his Hobie Baker one in freshman year at BU, take BU to the national championship game. Uh, but now it's the next challenge, and uh, you know, watching him and that that new boys in Buffalo come together is going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, they they really have an amazing group of young players, and uh, with Danny Bilesma at the helm, you know, my friend Dan Bilesma, friend, uh, you know, there's really, there's a reason to be optimistic and excited in Buffalo this season, um, you, you know, you look at not only Eichel, but bringing in a laner, bringing in, you know, Evander Kane, Ryan O'Reilly, you know, using your assets to, um, you know, address other areas, move pieces around the board. And, you know, I'm not saying they're going to be a playoff team next year, but they will be one of the most improved teams in the NHL. And I'll be damned if Danny Biles is not a uh, Jack Adams, uh, you know, recipient that, uh, you know, or not finalist, I should say, as I sound like a total moron. Uh, but, again, you know, I'm really, really excited for, uh, for Ike and hope he can, uh, you know, really continue to, to grow as a player and, and keep Massachusetts hockey uh, proud of him and, uh, you know, because he's, uh, he's a torch bear right now for hockey in the United States with uh, the Boston area being at the forefront. Anyway, and that's all I got to the power play with CJ, Stadium Repsodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Well, later, guys.